I didn't see you there. I was doing a video on Apex Legends. Another one, yes. I've already done a Jim Impressions video on Apex Legends. But this is one of those games I wanted to do another one for because I've played more of it and my estimation of it has only gone up the more I've played. When I first played it, um, I pointed out that I thought it was very, very good and Respawn had been pretty impressive with it, but it didn't stand out to me as a as a truly remarkable game. Yet, as I've spent time with it, winning and losing, let's face it, losing a lot more than winning, I, I've really come to love it. I think it's excellent. Uh, when it first came out, Respawn, it was clear Respawn had done an impressive job. Um, it looks good. It is really stable. Uh, you know, this didn't have a, a big public beta, a big public test, unlike Anthem, which, you know, struggled even at the VIP demo stage. Uh, almost as if Respawn knows what they're doing and that developers should really do the things that they know they're doing. Almost. Uh, because, you know, this is the result of a studio uh, where they had control over what they were doing and got to make the game they wanted to make. And I think that shows. I think that shows in the final product. Um, this is an excellent game, I think. Uh, I know... Some might not agree with that, but it is truly... Brilliant. I would be eyeing this for potential Game of the Year contendership if its storefront didn't have loot boxes in it, which I still think is a, a dreadful shame. Um, but other than that, the movement around the world is terrific. There's this sense of fluidity to it, even though it doesn't have quite the same features as a mainstay Titanfall game. Sliding around feels really good. Um, climbing up things is quick and efficient. The guns... Uh, feel different, each one, um, but they all pack a punch, they all pack a wallop. The combat feels involved as a result of that. Uh, and what's really impressive is that ping system. Um, the more you play it, the more you get to appreciate just how robust it is. Uh, exactly everything it does. Um, it's to the point where I ping things in the environment, even if I know I don't strictly need to. Just because it's fun and part of, you know, what we would call the immersion. Um, you can go into an area, see some doors are open, you know people have been there. There's a good chance everyone else has seen the doors too. But you just hold down a button and flick a stick and then you get to say, someone else has been here first. And that's what your character will say. And that just that's just fun to do. Um, and the options that you can, uh, the options for that ping system are so varied. Uh, you just look at different things, press a button, and contextually it communicates something to the player. Uh, you can use it to point out places where enemies have died and drop their loot. You can use it to point out supply crates, um, directions, where enemies are with two taps. It's just, there's a ton that this game allows for. And as a result, uh, I, I feel like sometimes I'm more successful on teams where people aren't talking than teams where people are because... Voices chattering in your head is just an added distraction. And you really don't need to talk, in my experience, which is great for someone like me because of my well-publicised anxiety, which means sometimes talking to strangers makes me freak the fuck out. Uh, whereas this, you don't need to do that. And not just for anxiety, but if you um, have difficulty hearing... Uh, therefore, might not be able to hear teammates. Um, this game has, this game uses its ping system essentially as this wonderful uh, accessibility option. Anyone can effectively, not just competently, they can effectively work with a team. The UI is very clearly signposted, uh, and you can add to that UI by, you know, highlighting things in the environment. And it's just. You never not know what you're doing if everyone's effectively communicating in-game. That's not to say playing it on mic is going to make you bad. It's just I f I've personally had more success on teams where people are using the ping system than they are telling people stuff. Um, if someone on a microphone is telling you there are enemies over there, which some people still do in this game, that doesn't help me anywhere near as much as it does as a little red dot in the environment that points me the exact last location an enemy was seen. 
that's just more efficient. Um, and Respawn apparently spent months playing without communication, playing without people knowing who each other were. And it shows, it really shows that they gave a crap about making sure this was a, squ a squad-based game that anyone could play. And that's super impressive. Also, don't, don't do finishes out in the open like that. It's never clever. Um, but I was just showing off for the video to show you that you can do those. Um, the classes, I feel, are all really good. I've heard some complaints that some of the classes have useless abilities, but I've seen every class used very effectively by people. Um, this is one of the characters you have to unlock. Now, the economy of this game still disappoints me. Um, most of the skins just aren't all that interesting. They're not worth... Uh, paying money for certainly and it took me days to get one character but while the economy itself is uninspired the game is certainly the first battle royale style game i've played to a very obsessive degree to a more than playing maybe once a day for a couple weeks at best um obviously it's been far less than a couple weeks since this game came out but I think I've already played more of it than I have PUBG <laughs> uh, in that week. Um, so I think that says something about this game. Uh, I've certainly played it more than I'll be playing Tetris 99. In fact, I won't waste anyone's time with a video of Tetris 99, which, if you haven't heard, is a Tetris Battle Royale, which is a very clever idea, but it is ultimately just Tetris where you're getting harassed. <laughs> basically with other players um it's all right brilliant idea but as a game it's it's just tetris with a an added annoyance um with you know other players just sending fucking junk bricks tetraminos your way uh, and filling up your board i played it for about 10 15 minutes and concluded it was not for me and there's your tetris 99 impressions inside the apex one so, how's that for value? How is that for value for money? I'm looking after you. Always looking after you, my babies. So, I like it. Is is the long and short of it. It has actually stood out to me as something that um, initially didn't look all of that uh, outstanding. It's something I have kept coming back to. It's something that I'm probably going to still be thinking about playing, even though I'm going to be juggling Metro Exodus and Far Cry New Dawn today. Why are both of those out on Friday? Tuesday was pretty much free. There was no major game at any one of those games. Either one could have come out on Tuesday, but no, they had to both come out on Friday. This is why the games industry is a mess, folks. You can't even get your release date sorted out. Meanwhile, Apex came out, Apex Legends comes out with no fanfare as a surprise because EA was scared of it because they were scared of the backlash because it wasn't Titanfall 3 and it had loot boxes in it. EA didn't trust that this game could come out without a major backlash. Gets what, 10 million players in its first day? 25 million by the end of the week? Single-handedly rescuing EA? from a poor financial report, keeping their shares up at a, at a tumultuous time where the rest of the industry is collapsing under the weight of its own unsustainable growth. And if you're sick of me saying that, I'm sick of the game industry engaging in it. So think about how I feel. Huh? Think about how your old boy Jim Sterling feels. Anyway, let's not get into that too much because this is a, a case where the game industry has come up good, I think. It's a very fun game that is well worth playing at the price of free. The time you spent in it is it's just well worth well spent, I think. As far as battle royale royales go, this is exactly my kind of battle royale. It's my battle royale of choice, I guess. I'm super impressed. I'm impressed. It I had positive first impressions, but they weren't super excited. And yet, over the past few days, I've only played it more and more and loved it. Really enjoyed it. So, yeah. I mean, that's Apex Legends. It's great, I think. I truly do believe that. So I'm just watching this back now. I'm, I'm not great at it. 
I'm all right at it, competent at it. Um, and I do wish it the best of luck. I still worry about how how well it will perform in the very long term, since it's a crowded market and whatnot. But its initial launch has been very impressive, and the game itself is very good. And also, don't try and heal someone when an enemy is right by them. You might accidentally do a finisher and die.